It's funny, there's uh, other cars on the track this weekend with different classes and the speed differential is major. This is a one opportunity where they'll have that in the Xfinity Series. See Sieg with a little trouble. Yeah, I was talking to Ryan Sieg earlier and he was, I was asking him about to, would he be glad to get these road courses kind of out of the way? And he said, absolutely. He said, you know, it, small teams, it takes its toll on everyone uh, getting prepared and staying prepared and, and even on the equipment uh, because, you know, they're not one of the higher budget teams. It'll be an interesting ride around for him, sure. Here's what happened to Alon. Oh, here's Ryan Sieg first. Ryan Sieg, I saw them have uh, the brake caliper and stuff off the right front of there. It didn't look like he had a lot of brake. One driver you mentioned who's been a, a tough couple weeks for is Ryan Sieg, and tomorrow only got tougher. You're back here in the garage right now. What happened up? Uh, I don't know. I went in at 12, but the left front, I don't know, either was a little bit down, and I went in and brake, and then the, just locked up. All I saw was smoke, and uh, I, I don't know what happened. But the right front's fine, so it tells me, I guess, the left, the left front might have been going down, so we'll see. And you know you're you're done for the day here being behind the garage. You guys are not going to be able to complete a lap. Oh, uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be a good thing coming from the rear. I guess we'll hopefully everybody will take themselves out like that car. Oh, we got the uh, 77 on the wall there, Dave. Yep, Josh Balicki, and that is not the first time he has been on. Three of the 12 spots have already been taken by winners, but there is a fight for that final 12th in on point spot, and Ryan Sieg is right in the middle of it. He's the last driver in right now. In show, there's going to be some costumes, too. You will not want to miss it from Darlington next week. So, Ryan Sieg, driver of this 39 car, one of the drivers who is on the bubble. He is the last man in. With more on the first man out, that is the 20 of Eric Jones. He runs in 21st, right behind Ryan Sieg. Everything kind of worked out, even though he had that issue up, getting into the back of Sieg a little bit there. The accordion effect happening and conditions, and then he was able to come in and get fuel too. So he's got a few laps once, uh, if we get to that point of green flag pit stops start happening, he'll be able to stay out a little bit longer, and all that will depend how much he decides that he wants to stay out and how much new tires might pick him up over staying out there on worn and older tires. We see Kenny Habul now getting a position on Ryan Sieg. Sieg was one of the drivers that had to start at the tail of the field, had issues in qualifying they had to take care of. I don't know if they'll allow this as his pass-through, DJ. He was already on pit road, I believe. Okay. So this should count for him. You see the 39 of Sieg, overheating problems, it appears, while he's on pit road. Ryan Sieg was having some issues all weekend long. He had a bad brake caliber yesterday in, in practice. Now, as you see, they're overheating. He's got a bunch of grass and mud and gravel on the grill. Was probably caused this overheating situation. But he's going to go back out there. Yep, Jim, he was doing a little uh, back on lap five. Certainly is one that is going to have to stretch it a little bit more if he can. He's had five laps of caution since that stop to help out, which really benefits him a lot. Talk about this four-mile road course. You don't want to put yourself in a position of running out somewhere back on the back part of this. Never make it back around. And caution laps basically double your, your fuel mileage, right? At least At double least, it here. You're I think, it off too, I think right? with four, four miles here, you probably get a little bit more than two to one uh, here if you're doing your job correctly. See Ryan Sieg there in the 39. Tough weekend for him so for him so far. Getting back to the 13th place car. Nice settling in run for Ryan Sieg. Can he keep it there? Well, he's done what a tremendous job. Uh, he, he started inside the restart inside the top 10 that last time. But to come from the back, they had issues yesterday in practice uh, with some brake issues. They had issues in qualifying. Had to start dead last in this field. And what a great job. He'll look back. If he's able to make the chase, he'll look back on this day and say, this is where we really did things right that allowed us to, to get in there. You know, when you race for a championship, you can remember bad days that you may turn into pretty good days more than you remember the outstanding days that you had. See the chase standings right there as they run. Right behind him, Alon Day in the 13. The driver from Ashdod, Israel. He raced in the uh, NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series. And one of the drivers are trying to bring over here now. Introduce him to racing here in the States. of action behind them as they race to the checkers trying to get all they can scott heckard around in the 15. but mcdowell has done it so good at this discipline 
And there you see Sieg with contact. Unofficially will cross the line in 14th position. Not bad.